Kishane Thompson for the first time in his Jamaican colors and he looked like he was the most comfortable out of all of the athletes now he ran in the very first heat Akeem Blake through to the semi-finals Kishane Thompson very comfortable going through to the semi-finals Oblique Seville very comfortable as well and, and later on today we'll see the ladies in their semi-final action the 100 meter ladies in their semi-final action followed by the 100 meter finals just a hour or so after that welcome 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 back to another video welcome to the narrative where it's okay to be curious like and share subscribe hit the notification bell for future video uploads and drop a comment the men's 100 meter heat and the results are in Kishane Thompson running the first heat and he made a statement we all it was highly anticipated Kishane Thompson went out ran a flat 10 and it looked like he shut down around 50 walking across the line it was something to behold from the jamaican and in, in heat four oblique civil he also ran um 999 winning his heat one of the faster heats he won his heat and he's through to the semis so kishane and oblique civil through to the semi-finals in heat six that's where we saw our third jamaican akeem blake he had a little bit more of a challenge in his heat, but nonetheless comfortable going through to the semi-finals behind Akani Simbini, where he ran 10.06. So the Jamaicans they are through to the semi-finals. We are, we are yet to find out what the semi-final lineup will be, but it's to, it is yet to come. Fred Curley won his heat in 9.97, and Kenny Benerick won heat seven. Eight, Heat 7, 9.97 as well. Now the poster boy for the Olympics and the poster boy for America, Noah Lyles, he, ran, he came in second place. He, he placed second behind Louis Inchcliffe out of Great Britain who ran 9.98. Noah Lyles ran 10.04. Now if you talk about how these athletes were looking, Noah Laz, he looked like he had to put some extra effort into his qualification time. It behind the Louis Hinchcliffe. Louis Hinchcliffe going to his first Olympics. He put some ex he, he is one to watch. Definitely an athlete to watch. But Noah Laz being the poster boy, we expected so much from him. And he did he did deliver. He's through to the semifinals. In Heat 8, Lester Litobigo. He were he ran he, ra he raced alongside Fred Curley and Zarnell Hughes. Zarnell Hughes also qualified, placing third, and Lestele Tobigo placing second. Now, Lestele looked like he was very composed. The natural um, nonchalant strides from Lestele, that's what we, were, we got today. But overall, the Jamaicans, they look good, they qualified. Kishane Thompson, for the first time in his Jamaican colors, and he looked like he was the most comfortable out of all of the athletes. Now he ran in the very first heat. Not sure if this heat had any real challenge to him, but it was extremely comfortable for him. It looked like he got out to the 50 meter mark, slowing down, literally walking across the line, knowing that he could not be caught. He shut down so much that at one point I was wondering, hold on, what is going on here? But Jamaica looking good in the heat so what are we what can we expect the the semi-final lineup is not yet out but with Noah Lyles placing second um Akeem Blake be, being placed in second it's gonna be a challenging run Lester Tobago placed in second none of these semi-finals will be easy because these are athletes who you're expecting to challenge Very, they're gonna be challenging to beat the athletes who are who place first will be lined up against one of these athletes who place second and these athletes who place second would have been athletes you're expecting to be placed first now the usa athletes they made a statement as well because all of them except noah Lyles, ran faster than the jamaicans this doesn't mean anything but it's just note to self. They ran faster than the Jamaicans. Is this to show that they put more effort into their race? Or is it that they're just in good shape? All but Noah Lyles ran a sub-10 time. 
and the only Jamaican who ran a sub 10 in this one was Oblique Seville but Kishane Thompson definitely looked the most comfortable out of all of them and I'm expecting great things going forward. So just to recap here, Kishane Thompson through to the semi-finals, Oblique Seville through to the semi-finals, Akeem Blake through to the semi-finals, Kishane Thompson very comfortable going through to the semi-finals, um, Oblique Seville very comfortable as well and Akeem Blake lined up against Obl um, Akani Simbini, he had to work a little bit harder but it should be good it should be good he will be lined up against a strong athlete seeing that he ran second but the jamaica team they are through to the semi-finals and later on today we'll see the ladies in their semi-final action the 100 meter ladies in their semi-final action followed by the 100 meter finals just a hour or so after that so stay tuned remember to like the video before you leave rewrite the narrative like share and subscribe